Jehovah Rohi. Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In scripture, in both the Old and the New Testaments, God is at different times uh, likened or compared or represented by this picture of being a shepherd. In fact, one of his covenant names uh, as used here is Jehovah Rohi, the Lord, our shepherd. And so this week, we're going to take time just to go through Psalm 23, the shepherd psalm. And uh, we will then conclude this week talking about Jesus, our great shepherd. Psalm 23, a psalm written by David, who himself was a shepherd boy. And we don't know when he wrote this psalm. It could have been in his early days in life when he was actually a shepherd. Or it could have been later on in life when maybe after becoming a king and having set up the tabernacle, he was looking back and reflecting on his journey in life and realizing God as a shepherd. But regardless of what point in time David wrote this psalm, in his mind, he is comparing his experience as being a shepherd to God being his own shepherd. And so as we go through this psalm, we would keep that in mind, that just as a shepherd deals with his sheep, so does God deal with us as his people. And we draw insights, we draw lessons from that comparison. As the psalmist said, you know, he, we are the sheep of his pasture. That means God cares for us the way a shepherd would care for his sheep. So David says, the Lord is my shepherd. Now imagine a shepherd taking care of the sheep. Uh, we're talking about a shepherd who genuinely cares for the sheep. He's not going to, you know, let the sheep experience harm or danger. He's not going to starve his sheep to teach them a lesson. He's not going to deprive them of their water when they need it. Uh, he's not going to deprive the sheep of food and pasture. But a shepherd takes care of his sheep. And so in that same comparison, David says, the Lord is my shepherd. He's going to care for me in such a manner. He's going to care for me in such a complete way. He says, I will not want, or to put it another way, I will not be in lack. I will lack nothing because the Lord is my shepherd. Just as the shepherd taking care of the sheep will ensure that the sheep is well cared for, God taking care of me will ensure that I am taken care of. I therefore will not lack, I will not be in want, and I will not be uh, in lack uh, of uh, comfort. I will not be in lack of healing for my wounds. I will not lack pro provision or protection or guidance or direction. I will not lack any of these things because the Lord is my shepherd. You know, as believers, we need to affirm that and we need to uh, just be so confident, so settled in that. God is my shepherd. He's caring for me with such care that he will make sure I will not lack. And I, we need to have that confidence. God will not allow us to be in want. He will not allow us to be in lack because he is our shepherd. Let's pray together. Father, today we acknowledge that you are our shepherd. And we say, as David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, I shall not be in lack. I will not lack your guidance, your direction, your comfort, your protection, your provision, your healing. I will not lack anything because you care for me as a good shepherd. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.